So, so here is a diagram showing primary adaptive immune response. So let's see the whole story, how things happen. First, this pathogen, uh, such as virus, uh, is coming into our body as an antigen. So that then, um, you know, we have a macrophage recognize the pathogen and try to phagocyte us, try to engulf and eat up. Then these, uh, these virus as an antigen will be broken down inside this a phagocyte uh, uh, with a phagolysosome. And then those components, the parts of these uh, virus will be represented out of this macrophage. So that it shows that, hey, I got this one, I eat this, and these are the parts. And the nearby, so macrophage presents components of the pathogen to the nearby T lymphocyte, T cell. So the T cells out, uh, nearby, uh, probably this can happen in lymph node. And then T lymphocyte has a very specific receptor. And when the key and lock uh, is matching, then T lymphocyte, those specific T lymphocyte will be activated. And they will activate a killer cell, they will activate a B cell too. So the killer cells, uh, or in this case, we call CTL or cytotoxic T cell. So this cytotoxic T cell will now destroy those infected uh, uh, cells. So that's one way the, uh, the killer cell, cytotoxic T cell will recognize those the same kind of a antigen, they will go and they will kill. On the other hand, this also will activate a B, B lymphocyte. That B lymphocyte is also very specific to those specific antigens. So they will have a specific antibody against that antigen, then that specific B lymphocyte will start to proliferate. So they're into uh, plasma cells, so like clonal expansion of making many of their clones to produce the same antibodies against these antigens. So making many, many antibodies so that this antibody can uh, attach and, um, and, and labor these antigens, which you already remember that opsonizes this, such that macrophage is prefers to phagocytose these ones and also neutralize and uh, many other um, functions by these specific antibodies. On the other hand, the B lymphocytes, some, of, some portion of these B lymphocytes were uh, differentiated into a memory cell. So that memory cell is not for now, but for the future. So they later induce secondary immune response upon renewed contact with the same pathogen that were like soon uh, as a kind of reserve forces specific to this antigen, we have now a uh, memory cell. So that's probably when we do vaccinate, we will, we will have this um, uh, multiple, multiple of these memory cells available so that we can protect ourselves from future attack of, of these uh, specific viruses. So, so now let's uh, discuss and summarize this adaptive immunity, which is an acquired immune system. Uh, as an example, this contains APC or antigen presenting cells uh, and B cell, T cell. So these cells are the main, um, main component of our adaptive immunity. And as I said, they are not first line of defense, but the second line and the for future. So they are usually slow and they have memory effect because that's for protecting ourselves from future reinfection. And adaptive immune, immunity can be, uh, deep, uh, can be composed of two parts. One is humoral immunity and the second is a cellular immunity. Humoral immunity, the humor is more like uh, what's happening in blood plasma while cellular is a cell-mediated immunity by the specific um, uh, adaptive immune cells. So let's first, first humoral in response means the B cell secretes specific antibody. I mean specific means specific against those specific antigens recognized by our antigen presenting cell. So that antigen, it means binds to antibody or receptors on T cells, and then 
that specific uh, specificity will be activate B cell by T helper cells. And cellular response, uh, the second is cellular response, and that's when pathogens that actually can evade our innate immunity, and they may succeed, in fact, host cells, then um, uh, those infected cells can be phagocytosed uh, by professional antigen presenting cells, such as a macro, uh, such as um, dendritic cells and macrophages, and, and that's uh, related to our cellular response. So let's let me go a little further to about immunological memory formation by B cells. So the B cells uh, finding out the bacteria, which is an antigen that matches to its receptor. As I said in clonal, uh, the antibody diversity, which means also the same as B cell diverse, B cell receptor diversity, because that receptor is the antibody, specific antibody. When B cells uh, residing in lymph node, they got this bacteria or lymph node or, or uh, inside tissue, that bacteria has an antigen specifically fits, that B cell now will be activated. And the helper T cell around will activate this, uh, making the B cell to proliferate into, differentiate into plasma cells and memory cells. So those plasma cells will also produce antibodies that attach to the, the current type of invader, and they will also proliferate to generate many, many antibodies. Because of these antibodies, uh, those phagocytes prefer these marked uh, pathogens with antibodies and eat them. And at the same time, simultaneously, memory cells will remember this. And um, uh, when the same intruder will come in the future, this memory cell will help the immune system to activate and respond uh, faster.